Alright, so the latest upgrade to the CT scanner is an insertable uh, scanning stage for the Factotron X-ray machine. Now previously, the rotation axis of the scanner, so the object to be scanned would be mounted on uh, the spindle of a stepper motor, which was attached via 3M dual lock, basically a high-tech uh, Velcro, to an L bracket, which was then 3M dual locked down to the base of the, the Faxtron X-ray imaging chamber. Now the problem with that is this, it's hard to get the rotation axis aligned perfectly with the middle of the sensor and perfectly aligned within uh, angle, both up, down, and left, right. So to fix that alignment issue, I've designed an insertable stage, which uses uh, translation stages and a kinematic optics mount to assist in the precision adjustment of the rotation axis of the stepper motor in order to make it perfectly perpendicular to the edge of, to like the, to the axis of the uh, imaging sensor and perfectly centered. Now the stage is constructed out of two layers. It has a bottom layer with uh, some set screws which screw down to fix it into the base and a top layer, which has some rubber feet, which is pressed upward against the top of the, uh, the Faxtron DX50. It has a cutout hole in the center for the X-ray beam to come down, and a cutout hole in the bottom for the imaging sensor. Now, on the, on the Faxtron DX50 that I'm using right now, it has a, a 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter imaging sensor, this is designed to also allow it to be used in the 120 by 120 millimeter version of the, uh, the Faxtron with the larger Hamamatsu a sensor. Now, because the imaging chamber has a little lip in it, this is installed in two parts. First, and they are and they separate. So the bottom and top of the stages stages uh, come apart. First, the bottom is inserted in, then the top section is inserted in and raised up a little, and then it comes down, and the ends of these rods insert in these sockets. Now, all of this uh, mounting hardware, these are uh, Thor Labs cage components. So the two uh, sets of two bars on either side to hold the two stages apart. Those are 60 millimeters apart with the Thor Lab 60 millimeter cage system, which uses the four millimeter rods. And then these sockets are also for the cage system. It has two mounts on the bottom for a Parker linear stage, which are not used yet, but are available for future upgrades. And it also has two sets of 440 threaded holes, each of these are 30 millimeters apart to hold a hold Thor Labs 30 millimeter cage system components, and on the top it has um, a 60 millimeter cage frame here to assist in the installation of a collimator. Now the collimator will be used for future um, analysis of materials. Hopefully, I'll be able to do some. Um, X-ray uh, fluorescence analysis by installing a cadmium zinc telluride or other energy sensitive detectors. So when this would be installed, this would basically restrict the X-ray beam with a 0.4 uh, millimeter um, aperture. So you just have a needle fine beam coming down right in the center of the sensor. So you could like take an X-ray of material or object, adjust it to wherever what you want it to analyze is in the center of the sensor, then insert the collimator and then put the x-ray beam onto that and detect um, scattered, uh, detect um, x-ray fluorescence for materials analysis. And this also has four sets of four uh, 30 millimeter, four, th four, le four Thor Labs 30 millimeter cage plate. The other one is under here. So this also has two positions for the Parker stage. So the Parker stage you can turn the adjuster knob and drive the stage in and out of the machine to align the center of the rotation axis with the center of the x-ray sensor. And you can also adjust the tilt of the stepper motor up and down and left and right. 
so that not only is it aligned in the center, but it's also aligned perfectly uh, perpendicular to the y-axis of the sensor. And instead of just having a, a set screw, like on the old stepper motor mount, this now has an ER11 collet system. Right now it's outfitted with an eighth inch collet, but the collets are removable, so this gives you better flexibility in mounting different sample sizes. So next I'll have another video showing how to insert the stage into the Faxtron X-Ray system.